Hello and welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to do a animation in Canva and I want to thank um, a few people, David Berger and Michelle Toth, uh, who've given me the inspiration to um, create this design and I'm going to share how I did it uh, with you. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to start off with a video workspace uh, because this is going to be a video transition, uh, which includes animations. And at the end, you'll download it as an MP4. Now, um, I have to apologize because this is going to be a very long um, video. So you may want to fast forward um, and rewind as you need to. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to start with a background um, and um, I'm just going to show you the design that I did create so you have an, uh, an idea of what, of what I'm doing um, here. So this is the animation that uh, I'm going to recreate and I'm just going to press the play button here so that you can actually see it. So I'm just going to move that um, to the side just so that I have something to refer to as I'm going through it. Since I've already gone through this design, I'm just going to go into my recently used and I'm going to pull up this design here. Uh, I'm going to set it as my background. And um, now what I have to do is I need to um, bring in the letter frames. So. Um, since I've already got the letter frames, um, I'm going to uh, quickly copy them, but um, over here. So I got these letter frames from coming in here and just searching for uh, N. Uh, there are the frames. So you just you can just click them and bring them in one by one and then size them in here. So I've got all of November in there. Um, now I have to say that you can do this with pretty much anything. I've seen other uh, creators do uh, Polaroid, um, Polaroids coming out of a camera, or you can do uh, invitations coming out of an envelope. The concept is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the letters here and I am going to um, turn the transparency all the way down so that they're invisible, but they're still there. Okay. So even though you can't see them, they're still there. Okay. Now, um, I'm now going to take a look to see um, what photo I'm going to put in there. Now, you don't have to put a photo in there. You can just um, put, you can just color them um, um, a shade like uh, red or purple or whatever by just clicking and then just going in here and, and making them a color. But I'm going to take um, this because that's what I used. And I'm just going to set it over here um, just so that I have it handy so that I can put it into the frame. And at the end, I'm going to delete that. Okay. But I'm just going to set it right over here just so that I have it. Okay. Um, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I know I, that I'm going to be starting with the last letter first. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take that letter and um, I'm going to make uh, a copy of that letter and I'm going to bring it up here so that you can't see it. And then I'm going to turn up the transparency so that I can see it. Then I'm going to take this 
and I'm going to put it in there. Okay, so you can see it's right in there. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to just plop this again in here just so that I have it. I'm going to put it right there. Maybe I might even take another copy, okay, just to have it there. I'm going to take th this first page of my video and I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, so now I have my second page. Okay, so now that I have my second page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my R and I'm going to move it down and line it up with all the other letters. So there you go, you can see my purple line and I'm going to leave that there. Now I'm going to duplicate this page. Okay, now I'm here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this R. I'm going to remove it and the frame and I'm going to come here and I'm going to turn up the transparency for the R that's there. And I'm going to take one of my pumpkins and I'm going to put it in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this letter here, which is my E, and I'm going to make a copy of it and I'm going to bring it up here and hide it just like I did the R before that. I'm going to turn up the transparency here and I'm going to take my pumpkin and I'm going to I'm going to make a copy of that and just bring that up here into the E. All right. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to want to make another copy of this page. Okay. And we're going to repeat the same steps. So on this page now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the E down and I'm going to match it up with the rest of my letters. I'm going to come here. I'm going to duplicate this page. And on this page, I'm going to uh, delete the E. And I'm going to come here. I'm going to turn up the transparency and I'm going to um, make a copy of this. I'm going to put the pumpkins in there. And now I'm going to take this. I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to bring that up here. I'm going to turn up the transparency here to 100%. I'm going to make a copy of that and I'm going to put that in there. Okay, and now I'm going to come here and I'm going to make another duplicate of this. And I'm going to continue going through this process until I reach the end. Okay, so I will be right back while I do that.
All right, so I finished uh, doing November and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adjust the um, duration of each slide. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the duration to 1.5. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but that's what I'm going to change it to. And over here where it says apply to all pages, I'm going to click apply to all pages and now it's adjusted every single page. Okay, so um, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to press the play button. Okay, so it's a little choppy right now, so I'm just going to stop it. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to apply the transition. Okay, and we, we do that by going um, uh, through each, each slide. So um, here's the transition. I'm just going to click it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the match and move. Okay, and over here it says apply between all pages. I'm going to click apply between all pages. Now you can select any one of these transitions that you like, but I'm selecting the match and move because it's really smooth. Okay, okay so there you go. It's applied it to every single slide. Now let's see what that looks like now. Okay, so that seemed pretty smooth. Um, so the last thing that I did, um, the last things that I did is I applied um, a little bit of an animation. Uh, this one here, I applied that um, every time an R was coming down. Um, so I took that, I made a copy, and wherever there was um, a letter coming down, I just copied that in there, like that. Oh, I didn't, I didn't need it there so let me just remove that okay um, the other thing that I did is um, when I got to the end um, what I did here is I added um, a text um, just above here that said um, Here comes, and I changed the font to PlayScript, and I believe I made it um, 120, um, or maybe I changed it, actually maybe I did Brittany, yeah, and um, then I changed it to the color white. Well, sometimes that doesn't catch, but um, I changed it to, oh, oh dear lord, that's not what I wanted to do, but let's try. Sometimes it gets so finicky. And then I selected an effect, which is this one, and um, actually... I believe I chose black for that and then I chose a nice bright green um, yeah so that's what I did for that and then I added a, a light um, right in uh, there uh, and just be careful that your cursor isn't in the letter frames because when it is it automatically takes it into the frame so um, and then what I did is I applied an animation on the light um, I believe I 
selected the pulse. And, um, and then I added the Canva in and behind, and that's pretty much it. So let's see how that transitions now. Now, um, of course, when you're all done, what you'll do is you'll go back to the beginning and you'll take out your little photos because you don't need them anymore. So you can just go in and you can just delete them. Um, they were just there for your reference. And um, that's pretty much it. So I hope that you did enjoy this video and that you learned something. If you did, please do give me a like and subscribe so that you're the first to be notified when something new comes out. For now, my friends, bye-bye. Until next time.